After nearly nine years of marriage, YouTube couple Jacqueline and John Hill announced they are getting a divorce. First Channing and Jenna, now Jacqueline and John, what is happening? After weeks of speculation that there was trouble in paradise for YouTube couple Jacqueline and John Hill, they have confirmed that they are in fact getting a divorce. In two separate, very emotional posts on Instagram, Jacqueline and John confirmed some of their fans' biggest worry that the two who have both been so open about how much they've been through as a couple, including battles with addiction and sobriety, were calling it quits. Jacqueline wrote, quote, After almost nine years of marriage, John and I have decided to divorce. Although this has been one of the hardest decisions of our lives, I know it's what's best for both of us. I will always have love for him, and I am so grateful for all the good times we shared together. My heart is broken by this, but I still believe in love and believe everyone has a chance for a happy ending. Thank you so much for the love and support towards the both of us. In John's post, he added, quote, This is obviously not the future we envisioned, but we were very young and have since both changed and grown apart. Although there's still love between us, we feel it's best to go our separate ways. The Hills were married back in 2009, almost nine years ago, so this news about their divorce is so sad. But honestly, it's not all that surprising, considering it's been really obvious that there was definitely something going on between the two over the past few months, and it didn't look good. It was just last month that Jacqueline and John appeared to have unfollowed each other on Instagram, which only concerned fans of the couple even more, since Jacqueline was also seemingly avoiding her famed YouTube channel. Reaching out to her disappointed fans, Jacqueline said, quote, I'm sorry that I've been so absent recently. It kills me not being able to talk to you openly about my life, but I need this moment to myself and I will be back soon. I promise all your questions will soon be answered. Now Jacqueline did return to her channel, but for fans that was pretty much confirmation that there was definitely something going on. So when Jacqueline and John seemingly shaded each other online, rumors really started to fly. In a recent video review of the new Kylie Cosmetics Chris collection, Jacqueline used some choice words when describing her distaste for quote, cool toned browns. Cool toned browns. There's nothing I hate more other than cheaters and liars. Cool tone browns. Immediately, fans were quick to question if Jacqueline was actually not so subtly trying to insinuate that her husband had cheated on her. And with not so perfect timing, John happened to upload a video clip from the wedding singer to his Instagram stories in which little Petey says, hey Linda, you're a bitch. John tagged Jacqueline in the vid and naturally everybody thought it was a direct response to her. But it turns out that really wasn't the case at all because John quickly addressed fans who thought they were witnessing a very public fight, saying, quote, for everyone thinking that Adam Sandler snap was me throwing shade at Jacqueline is 100% wrong. That's her and I's favorite movie and that scene kills us, so I tagged her in it. I would never do that, come on now. Really, we didn't actually think these two would air their grievances online, but whatever led to this decision that I'm sure is extremely painful for both of them, the most important thing here is that we show them some love during this very difficult time. So to both Jacqueline and John, we wish you the best. Now it's time for all of you to weigh in on the news about Jacqueline and John's divorce. Did you see this one coming? More importantly, is 2018 cursed? Leave all your thoughts down below and then you can click right over here to find out why Kim Kardashian had to delete her latest Insta post. Thanks so much for checking in with me right here on Clever News. I'm Sinead DeFries and I'll see you guys next time.